It's been four years since two twin baby boys were found dead on a dumpster behind this apartment building at 1460 College Avenue in the Bronx. Pay for what they did. I started shaking. I started, you know, two innocent kids, imagine. For Maria Quinones, the heartbreaking discovery is still fresh in her mind. I remember um, a detective, like four of them, knocking on my door and telling me what happened. And it was like almost right under my kitchen window that they found him. She was among the residents who gathered with authorities and other community members on Friday evening at a vigil to honor the lives of these babies and hoping that this case can soon come to an end. We have a car, so one day they'll find out who did it and they'll pay for what they did. We will bring justice one day to this case. That's something that I've promised the community, I've promised people in this building. We will see this to a close. Authorities believe the boys were between 12 hours and a day old when they were found. Their umbilical cords were still attached. It remains a mystery why they were dumped on this building. Yeah, we talk and we wonder, you know, who did it, who, I mean, who would do something like that? The newborns didn't have a name, but authorities named them Zeke and Zane. Biblical names meaning God's gift and God's strength. It's important to remind the community that we're, we're not going to stop. We're always going to be out here. Um, you know, any cases like this, it's just that this case shines a little brighter in our hearts. Fourth anniversary of their death, bringing back a lot of pain into this community. I don't even want to remember. I got like goosebumps every time.